What's up? This is Al from It's Androids World here, and today I'm going to be doing another full review of the T-Mobile G1, this time focusing on the entire home screen or desktop experience that you get with Android OS 1.0. Now you're going to notice this is very old, very stale, there's not a lot of features that come with it, but I still figured I'd do the review, so let's go ahead and get straight into it. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at the home screen experience itself. First off, we'll start up on top with this status bar up here, which Android calls the pull-down notification bar, and for good reason. This is something Android does really well right from the start. So, like any phone, pretty much, um, they have a status bar. It has your clock, your battery icon, um, your signal strength, if you're connected to Edge, 3G, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, whatever um, networking you're connected to. And then what Android does is also put your notifications up there. So you can see I have a little messaging icon, and I see, okay, I have a message, so I should go into my messaging application. But that's not all Android lets you do. It actually lets you touch that and then pull it down. And as you can see, here are all of my notifications. It gives me the full date, my network provider. If I want to clear my notifications, which is just deleting that. And here are my actual notifications. And you see I have a free T-Mobile message from letting me know that my MyFace are set up. And what's cool is I can actually just tap on the notification. And that will take me straight into the application itself and show me the message. Really nice. And when you've actually looked at it, of course, the notification will be gone. So that's a really cool feature. Next thing I want to show you guys is what happens when you click the menu button. Tapping that and you'll get five options. First option is add. Second option is wallpaper. Uh, third option is search. Next is notifications. And next is settings. So this is a really cool thing with Android. It lets you completely customize the three included desktops. So you can see I have three desktops and you see my wallpaper actually moves with the desktop as I scroll. I can't scroll any more to the left and I can't scroll any more to the right other than three. And what Android lets you do is completely customize these. And you can do these a few different ways. So if you want to delete something that Google adds, you can long press it. And you see it now turns that bottom tab down there in your trash can. I just drag it down there and it will highlight red. When I let go, it's deleted. It's not deleted off my phone, but it's deleted off the home screen experience. And I can also tap that and drag it around and place it wherever I want to place it. Now that clock right there is called a widget, and Android comes with quite a few widgets and thousands more in the Android market, probably tens of thousands. You can also long press those and move them around wherever you want, or long press it and drag it and take it to the trash can and delete it right off the screen. Really, really nice feature that Android allows you to do. Now let's say you want to add something back. There's two different ways you can add applications back. The easiest way, and the way that I do, is I can tap the app drawer or I can touch it and pull it. Either way, I see the app that I want and I just touch and hold it. Then I can place it where I want, and there it is, it's right on my home screen. The other way to do it is actually tap the menu key, tap add, and hit application. And here are the list of all my applications. Tap on the one I want, and I can drag it exactly where I want. Or if I made a mistake, just delete it. And it's the same method for um, actually adding widgets or shortcuts. You tap menu, you hit add, and now I can go to shortcut and I can add a shortcut. So first I want to show you guys what a bookmark is. A bookmark shortcut is basically a shortcut that allows you to launch straight into the browser into one of your favorite web pages. So I have a Google bookmark right on my home screen and when I tap on it, we'll look at that. It takes me to the browser and takes me to google.com. So that's a really good thing, especially if you're a heavy web browser and especially if you um, have a favorite website. Another shortcut that you can do is a contact and that just allows you to actually add a contact. So I just add one of my friends on here and there he is, so it shows his contact picture. And when I tap on that, it allows me the option to send him a text message or a column, which is pretty cool. Another, sh another shortcut that comes with it is a Gmail label, which just allows you to put an instant shortcut to a Gmail label, like the inbox or chats or start messages right on your home screen. Pretty cool. And last but not least, uh, or not last but not least, uh, you also have music playlists. And this will allow you to put a music playlist. So since I only have play all, there it is, and when I tap on it, it starts playing all, or I don't have any yet, but it'll start playing all of your music right on your, on, that's on your phone, which is a really cool feature. And the last thing I want to show you guys, which is the last shortcut, um, you see another way to actually get to this menu is long press the home screen, and you can get to this menu as well, and you can add folders. And you can actually click on a folder, and that'll open it up, and when you long press up here, you can actually name the folder anything you want, which is awesome. To put something in a folder, you long press it and you just drag it right on top of the folder. You'll see it kind of gives an opening and you just put it in. 
So I'll just drag and drop all the icons that are on my home screen right now just straight into the folder. And as you can see, now that they're there, just tap on it. And all your apps are right there in the folder. And it looks nice and transparent. A really nice feature. And single tap up there, and that'll close the folder. Another really nice feature. And you can also move around folders wherever you want, or drag them and delete them off the home screen. So that's pretty much it for shortcuts. I um, also have widgets. Now, from Android OS 1.0, they only give you three. Clock, picture frame, and search. So if I go to clock, you guys already saw this widget. So that's the analog clock. The other thing is a search widget, which is pretty cool. Let's you do an instant Google search right from the home screen. Of course, you can slide open the Team Mobile G1's keyboard and use that on the actual home screen. And when you tap on the widget, you can search in. So I'll just search in its Android's world and hit search. And you can see it goes straight to Google and does a Google.com, its Android's world search. And there's my YouTube channel, which, of course, you guys should subscribe to. Let's go and go back home. And um, check out the last widget. Just long press the home screen and tap on widget. And it's a picture frame. So you just tap on picture frame. And what this allows you to do is actually add a picture to your phone. So if I go back to Google search real quick and I type in Android. And I'll go to images. And I'll just download an image so I can show you what a picture frame does. So I just go to images here and I tap an image. View full size. And I'll long press it, save the image, it'll download, and there it is. So now what I can do is actually add that right to my home screen. So I can long press, hit widget, and hit picture frame. And once it loads up, I have a picture there. So I tap on it, and I crop what I want to be on the actual picture frame itself. So I want the whole picture, so I just hit save. And there it is, right on my home screen. I can long press it and move it wherever I want really really nice feature and that's widgets last but not least there's wallpapers you can tap menu and hit wallpaper to get to that you can set any picture from your actual uh, phone that you put on there as your wallpaper so you see kinda cuts off there which isn't good I'll just use the actual Android itself and when I hit save it'll say setting wallpaper please wait and there it is I have a nice big Android logo which I think I'm gonna keep um, you can also tap wallpaper and hit um, menu and hit wallpaper and there's a wallpaper gallery included and you can set any of these included images that are on the phone right away as your wallpaper and another way to get to that again is to long press the screen and you're just gonna tap wallpaper and there you got those same two options from the menu you can also do another search you can pull down your notification bar if you want to do it that way and you can go to settings and that's pretty much the entire home screen or desktop experience on Android right, OS 1.0. So point. thanks for watching my second part video on my T-Mobile G1 review. Again, covering the home screen or desktop experience. Um, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash androidsworld. And rate this video a thumbs up or favorite the video as it really, really does help me to reach my goal of becoming a YouTube partner. The question that I want you guys to answer in the comment section is... If you can pick one widget and any widget or one shortcut and any shortcut to add to Android OS 1.0, what would you add and why? Other than that, thanks for subscribing, guys, and make sure you guys continue to do so and spread this video around, and I'll see you guys in my next video.